We are a few weeks into 2022 and I'm confident many of you are thinking about scaling up your trading capital. Now, you may want to be doing this in various ways, private investment, your own capital or funding firms. There are many out there, many great ones, many ones that some of you have probably already tried. You might have even done a few assessments, done well, got unfunded and you're in a position where you really want to iron out those details so you can become a funded trader and scale up your trading. In this video, if this is something that you are interested in, then you're gonna to wanna to stick around because I'm gonna be talking about our funding program, some important tips that you need to be doing if you wanna scale up your trading and you wanna make sure that you stay funded as well. This video is for you, so let's dive straight in. So before we talk about our funding program, I wanna start off with number one. So this is from data that we see on a regular basis trading plans. If you look at the industry as a whole, you have to understand the route as to why people go through these funding firms. It's natural, right? Who wouldn't want to scale up their capital? However, there's a reason why the statistics are out there. There's a reason why 95% of traders will give back their accounts and have them for two to three months. They don't stay funded. So you have to ask the question, why is that? Well, some people are just not ready. And I get it. You're eager. You're excited. You want to test yourself. You want to go through these challenges. But if you don't have a trading plan and you're not clear, what chance did you really have? Listen guys, you can fluke your way towards becoming a funded trader. If you can't maintain it and you can't keep it, what's the point? You're just burning money. You think that it's experience, but it's not. You're just feeding onto that greed and that excitement and that rush of becoming a funded trader, having 100K, 200K, whatever it is, but really and truly, you're just not ready. And sometimes you have to need a cold, hard truth conversation with yourself and ask yourself, are you actually in a position to be doing that yet? Or are you trying to jump the gun because you see everybody else doing it and you're just following people? Stay in your own lane and apply and do these things once you are ready. But what we see is that people that have the trading plans, that they're very clear and concise, they know exactly their setups, their management, their psychology, everything is intact to those are the ones that do really well so tip number one make sure that you're actually operating from a trading plan and you're not just forcing things or actually doing things that are nothing to do with your trading plan just to pass a challenge and then how sustainable is that we see this a lot in this industry so the biggest tip number one make sure that you've got a clear and concise trading plan that you know like the back of your hand so just a quick reminder guys, if you're taking tons of value away from the channel, you've been enjoying our videos and you wanna make sure that you are in the loop, make sure if you haven't already, you are subscribed to the channel, you like, you comment, you engage with us and let us know your thoughts on these videos. We absolutely love doing them and we wanna make sure that you're in the loop. Speaking of value, we wanna make sure, check the links in the description. We have tons of gems there that will improve your trading journey. So just a quick reminder to you guys, now let's get back to the video. So tip number two, this is for those of you that have already passed. You may have already gone through this or someone that's been funded and been unfunded and you probably have definitely gone through this. Upgrading your lifestyle too quick. We see this a lot and it normally comes from a void. I understand it, I get it. When you start making money, maybe you have that 10K withdrawal, 20K, 30K and you've now got the money that you've always dreamed of, that you can start upgrading your lifestyle, buy that car that you wanted, move out and get that apartment, go to fancy restaurants. And what you do is you forget about the incremental stage. Our mindsets, they get upgraded incrementally and so should your lifestyle. So we see this a lot. And if you're not really financially literate, you'll have a tendency to fall into this. It's what keeps the middle class broke and just most people broke in general. They don't look at the incremental stages of upgrading a lifestyle. So my tip here is that if you are in that situation where you start to get those withdrawals and your finances start to improve and your income starts to scale up, do you have ratios in place? Do you have a plan in place where you have X percentage that you'll spend on luxury goods or X percentage that you'll have towards your rent and your mortgage or or your car payments or whatever that may be and if the answer is no and you're somebody on the screen right now that you're actually funded and you might be doing well and you're getting withdrawals and you have no clue whatsoever it's highly likely you're just going to fall into that statistic and we see that even people that have big withdrawals chances are they end up giving the account back and i'm going to go into that in the next point but my biggest tip for those of you that are either passed already and you're getting withdrawals or those of you that are on that journey and you're very close to it making sure that you've got these ratios in place, you've got the milestones in place, and you don't upgrade your lifestyle too quickly because this is where you put yourself in a very tough spot because you're probably trying to impress people too quick or you're filling the void that you never had. 
but you can learn from other people's mistakes and believe you me there are thousands and thousands of people doing that so this is the big tip for you guys it's going to save you a lot of stress and a lot of headache So the last tip, tip number three, is financial thermostat. If you wanna keep your funded account, you need to understand this. This is for all of you. So by understanding your financial thermostat can sabotage you. Psychology is a very broad topic. I'm gonna to go into something very specific that will link to that. So you'll probably find yourself in these situations. If we just look at the stats first and foremost, 95% of traders that will be funded, they will lose their account in two to three months. We know those numbers that are out there and are, I think they're actually even worse than that. However, I'm being conservative here. You have to ask the question, why? Why is that? Why is it that somebody can start to do really well and then lose their account? Why does that happen? You gotta dig deep into it. Is it self-sabotage? Is it self-worth? Is it lack of self-esteem? Is it your financial thermostat? Think of it like this. Most traders, they used to trade in thousand dollars. They've not traded these accounts before. They get given a 100K account because they've passed some sort of challenge or more and they start to do well for a period of time and then guess what, boom. They have a withdrawal, they upgrade their lifestyle to the point I originally said. They don't really have a plan and then guess what, they get unfunded. So why does that happen? Well, if your financial thermostat is always capped at a certain level because you've not done the inner work, you've not worked on your mindset, and psychologically, you will find a way to give it back, which is why people that win the lottery, what happens? They give it back. Their, fi their financial thermostat is 20K a year, 30K a year. You can't put this person in charge of 30 million or 5 million. They will find ways to spend it and give it all back, which is why this happens here. People are getting funded too quick that, quite frankly, they're just not ready. And if you've not done the work, and that your primary goal is to achieve big figures this year and you really wanna scale up your funded account, you doing 55 challenges, unfortunately, is not gonna get you there. You need to work on your mindset, your psychology, and make sure that your financial thermostat is not keeping you broke and keeping that low. You need to raise that. Now, there are very many ways that you can do that. It's more of a deeper topic, but start by working on your self-esteem. Start by working on your self-worth. Affirmations, making sure that your clear identity is actually the person that you want to be, that you're monitoring your language, that you've got a clear vision of your goals, you actually have a structured plan, you know where you're going. People are just willy-nilly going through these things and not understanding that these are the things that are gonna hold you back. So when you look at it, it's very clear to see. I have the privilege of coaching thousands of people. I can see the common traits and success of people that have successful funded accounts and they stay funded. Right, and there's a reason as to why they do that. They've got these things on lock. So if you guys and girls are very, very serious, by taking value from this video, I want you to really understand these points. Having a clear trading plan, this is absolute must. If you don't have a trading plan, don't trade, right? You're, just, you're too early on in the process, if that's the case, you might have just started learning. Number two, understanding that if you upgrade your lifestyle too quick, you'll actually shoot, your, shoot yourself in the foot. You're just causing more problems for yourself, where if you would do it incrementally, chances are, and statistically, you'd probably keep it for a little bit longer and give yourself that experience that you needed. And then of course, last but not least, your financial thermostat, your financial thermostat, you need to do the inner work. Otherwise, it will always come back to bite you. And I personally believe that this is why those statistics are so high. And this is one of the big reasons. This is one of the big reasons why we created our own funding program in the first place, because we see that. My priority, and at Falcon, is to make sure that traders learn the strategy, they've got the psychology in place, they have all the structures that they need to know exactly what they're doing, and they've got a clear and safe, sensible pathway to scale up their lifestyle, it's that simple. So it took us some time, but we've done it in the right way, because when you look at the statistics, and I see people just burning money, burning money, and they're not even ready yet, this is why we created that in the first place and we were able to facilitate for those traders that not only do they get funded, that they can stay funded. And we are very close to a milestone of 100 funded traders and we have big ambitions for 2022 to scale that up to make sure those guys and girls are scaling up their trading in a sensible way that we can help them do that in the most sustainable way as well. We have goals to have hundreds of funded traders in 2022, trading six figures, high six figures, and of course towards the seven figure trading club, which I'm very, very excited about. And this is why we have a Discord community, we have monthly webinars where we go over these important things that I spoke about, things like peak performance. Being able to rely on other traders here, you're not just a number on a spreadsheet. You have to understand that funding firms were created for a very good purpose, but that is their model. They don't have the resources to be able to be tailored and bespoke. They facilitate to you and it's your responsibility to decide, are you in a position and are you ready to be funded? 
that's not their problem. That is your responsibility and your responsibility only. So I think they're great and they're a great stepping stone as towards you becoming more financially independent. And that we saw that and realized that we can facilitate that. So when we jump on on a regular basis, we're able to rub shoulders with other people that are on the same journey as you that are funded, that have had their first withdrawals and they can share, right, this is what I did. This is the milestone that I've done. So we can scale up together. This is our priority and this is what we are aggressively going to be focusing on for 2022. So we're able to help people scale up and guess what there's going to be different pitfalls for you at different stages if you think that right now you just passing a challenge is a tick in the box and that's going to be it forever well then i've got news for you you're going to be put in situations you get 400k and then you start to wobble a little bit and then your financial thermostat you've not worked on it and you don't know how to who are you going to talk to who are you going to rub shoulders with no one, maybe a few people, but they've not done what you need to do. So this is the advantage and the benefit of having other people in the same group that you can see each other grow in-person meetups. We're scaling all of this up. So our goal is to do that and we've seen the need for that and there's a reason why those statistics are so high. And we're gonna make sure that not only people that they get funded, they stay funded. That is the most important thing. Then you can actually incrementally upgrade your lifestyle. So the chances of how we do things with a disciplined approach to you're not just fluking a challenge, you actually keep it and you scale it up and you know why you got there in the first place, which is the most important thing. So we're very much excited for that. So just to wrap this up, guys, I really appreciate your attention. Hopefully you took a lot of value away from these points. Wherever you are, whatever funded challenge you're doing, make sure you've got this on lockdown. And for those of you that are interested in wanting to become a funded trader, please don't put it on a pedestal. Remember, you will never exceed your wildest expectations. So do not put being a funded trader on a pedestal. You have to think further and think bigger than that because that's how you're gonna get there. When you think bigger and you set your ambitions way further than that, you'll find that you actually achieved the original goal in the first place. So just a little bit of wisdom there. And overall, for those of you that are very interested in wanting to learn about our program, what we offer, our Discord community, et cetera, and how you can learn to do that. And the first step for you is becoming a Falcon member. You will go through a pathway, you will learn our strategy, you will learn how we do things, and then you will have the opportunity to apply for the fund. And then you know that you're ready. That's the most important thing. And you'll have all of the support that you're not getting right now to be able to scale up your capitals. Right guys, so just a quick one, just to share with you some important things that we discuss in our Discord community. So as you can see here, we've got a Discord. Um, one of the most important things I was talking about is mindset, right? Making sure that you have the right mindset. Peak performance. So to give you an insight as the type of the things that we discussed, making sure that your peak performance is in the right place. Because if you don't have these things in place, it's gonna be a lot harder for you. So again, so you have an understanding as to why do we discuss these things. You as a trader, think of yourself as more as a mental athlete. You wanna make sure that if you're just coming to the charts, you're not feeling good, your emotions are not there, you're not sharp, you don't have these things in place, you don't have anything about your nutrition, your sleep, how do you think you're gonna to perform to the best of your ability? These are things that we discuss. We go over all of that, your emotions, as you can see here on the screen. We go through everything, making sure that you are fully equipped to be the best trader that you can be. We have our announcement section, if we had recently, Let's go to achievements as well. So Brendan passed recently, so he's quadrupled his account. So big congrats out to Brendan as well. And again, he's been able to Forex his account now and he's gonna be scaling up and growing that as well. And again, it's the discipline applied to be able to achieve that was the most important thing. So this is the type of support that you get behind the scenes. Everybody's talking to each other and think about it like this. When you're scaling up your capital, we've got many people in Falcon that of course they wanna scale up their trading this year. Of course they know that they can access that with the FX fund that you can see there on my screen. They're able to do that in an environment that is safe, in an environment where we're pushing each other. That is the most exciting thing for us. So my personal goal is to push these guys and girls to the highest heights. Whatever their wildest expectations is, I wanna push that even further. And as we have more and more six figure, plus six figure, seven figure traders, it's gonna completely change their life. All of the work that's been put in, we're just about to go into our fifth year at Falcon as well on February the 12th, which I'm very, very excited about. It's a great milestone and we are literally just scratching the surface. So just wanted to give you a bit of an insight into that. So if you're interested in that, click the link below. You can see all of our descriptions and I hope you have an incredible day wherever you are tuning in from the world. And for those of you that have gone through these motions, by the way, that you might have been funded, had a withdrawal, gone through quite a few things, I'd be really curious to hear your story, how you found it, any kind of breakthroughs that you've had, if you found any particular things that has worked for you or helped you psychologically. I'd absolutely love to know. Wishing success to all of you out there in the trading space. This is a tough game, guys, and it really does take that grit. So keep it moving forward. We've got some big goals to accomplish for 2022.